Can I take him out now? Now I've compl- Yes, I did take him out! Me complaining about making a huge mistake and I took him out anyway. Okay, never mind. <laughs>
all of my dice. And this is for those of you who are not familiar with this game. You roll dice to determine attacks, and if you roll a 1, depending on what dice you're using, you forfeit your turn, which I understand is the core mechanic, but for whatever reason, whenever I play this game, which is actually this legitimately part of the reason why I don't play it as often as I would like to, roll once way too often. Again, I realize it's part of the mechanic of the game, but still. Alright, let's go ahead and, yeah, there we go. Never mind, alright. And, oh yeah, by the way, I have this set to fast forward so that I can get through the battles way faster. I'm not speeding up the video by any means. That is actually how fast I actually have it going. Actually, no, let me really quick pause menu. As you can tell, right down here, speed time soon. That's just strictly for the monsters themselves, or at least the enemies, I should technically say. Hope that made sense when I first said it, but I don't know for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack you. Okay, so you are going to be dead by the time your turn comes around. Got higher poison than health, which that's kind of the whole point. Alright, so let's go ahead and see who we want to attack. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this guy has extra poison damage that he can equip, act, uh, equip to my monster. Let's go ahead and turn the speed down just to double check that. I want to make sure. Okay, so no. I'm thinking of a monster with a similar shape on a completely different level. So I wasn't entirely wrong. But in this case, apparently I was. Not that it really matters. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on. And I actually did not bother to check this other guy for whatever reason. I was more focused on seeing what this uh, ghost uh, dice were. Alright, so let's go ahead and hopefully... Well, I don't think I'm going to be ta able to take him out this turn unless I'm incredibly lucky, which I usually am not. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how far I can go ahead and get into this. And I think what I could potentially do, so long as my uh, video editor doesn't crash, because it did last time I tried to do a sped up time lapse. Not really sure what caused it, but whatever. Um, I'm going to try speed through these monsters as best as I possibly can. If I can actually attack, that is, that is the one caveat to this. Because I do obviously want to do as much damage as I possibly can. Okay, so I am stopping the 
time lapse here specifically because I want to show you guys that I got incredibly lucky with not only my rolls but also with the monsters I got this turn. So once I attack this guy right here, okay, so he was already stuck. I didn't even realize. Okay, so if you take a look at the guy on the far right, 50 health total, 5 health left, 19 poison damage, he's guaranteed. The guy I've selected right now, 102 health, 69 health remaining, 62 poison damage, and I'm about to do not only 9 regular damage, but 30 poison damage. So this guy is guaranteed to go out this turn, so two knockouts on the very first turn. So I got incredibly lucky with that. That's one of the nice things about this game because like like I just said, I got incredibly lucky and if you do manage to get that this lucky, well, obviously you can do things like that. This is actually why, well, admittedly I did say earlier that my strategy is not the best strategy, but this is why when it comes to this game in us uh, specifically, and I don't think I've actually mentioned this as far as this video is concerned, but I have mentioned this in previous Tiny Dice Dungeon videos that I've done, the whole two other ones I've done. This is exactly why I absolutely love the poison attribute. People will argue, people who play this game on a regular basis will argue not good for catching monsters, which actually is a legitimate mechanic of this game. That's obviously how you would get monsters in your party. Admittedly, that's not how you would go about catching them. I know that for a fact, but at the very least, as you obviously saw, did an incredible amount of damage. That's hard to deny, regardless if you're an expert on this game or not. So, let's go ahead and do that. And oh! So come on, was that two turns? Did I take him out in two turns or three? I'd have to double check when I'm editing. But either way, I got lucky. Alright, so let's see. I did not get too terribly lucky this time around with the monsters I got as far as being able to take them out immediately. At the very least, if I get lucky, and that's a huge if, obviously. If I can take this guy out this turn, I don't remember what this guy is supposed to do. Actually, that goes for pretty much all the monsters, admittedly, as far as I'm concerned. But I want to believe if I can do decent, I can take him out immediately on this turn, which is definitely can help me out in the long run. If I can attack him and, for, and not forget that I have him already selected. I'm probably not going to be able to take him out this turn just simply because I 100% forgot I already had him so I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh well, my own stupid mistake. Not a lot I can do about it now. Actually, did I take him out now? Now I've compl- Yes, I did take him out! Me complaining about making a huge mistake and I took him out anyway. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's go ahead and see what I can do. Alright. So I have the first guy already poisoned a little bit. You know what, I think what I'm going to do is go after the other guy first, simply because he has a heal all set of dice. Which is a very useful uh, set of dice to have, I will readily admit that. And also, well, pretty much any dice that affects an entire party whether it be healing your entire party, or I've actually seen monsters with dice that are able to poison the entire oppo opposing team's party in one attack, which is really awesome. I wish I had one of those, but I don't. And, well, I took him out real quickly, so that makes things a lot easier. Okay. But yeah, anything that attacks everything at once, or even heals your entire, entire party all at once, very helpful, and it's very helpful that I took the heal all guy out as fast as I did. Really glad I did that. Alright. So let's go ahead and continue on, and I would continue the time lapse again. But the only reason why I'm not going to is, well, 
first off, I'm, well, not maybe necessarily done with this battle yet, obviously, but fairly close. Some people who play this game would argue I'm not close in the slice, but with the amount of poison damage, yeah. Try to argue otherwise. You probably definitely will if you play this game on a regular basis, and I won't blame you. But yeah, so after this battle, I want to believe that I'm going to be taken to the boss fight. Because if I remember correctly, it's three dungeons and then the boss dungeon for the event dungeon. Which is... at least it makes things go a little bit faster. Yeah, so like I said just a couple moments ago, yeah, this battle is... Pretty much almost over. Just look how much poison damage I'm doing this turn. Almost 200 poison damage. This attack, which I definitely didn't. Okay, so regardless of what happens, he's done. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me at least heal myself a little bit. Okay, so there's that. And here's what I'm trying to do right now. For those of you who are not experts on this game, if an enemy on the other side, obviously the enemy's on the other side, I don't know why I need to say that, um, if they die at the start of the turn due to poison damage, then any excess poison damage that they technically would do to themselves actually gets added to your entire party's health, and I don't remember if it's like a specific ratio spread across the entire party or if it's the same... Um, amount regardless of it was like if I did like 50 X the poison damage for example if it's spread evenly across everyone or everyone gets 50 I'll remember for sure but I'm trying to heal as much of my party as I can so I'm trying to say I realize I, I made that a lot more complicated than it need to be okay so 160 health and first off, well, actually, technically, second off, you are one ugly looking guy. I have never seen you before. Then again, I am in an event dungeon. But you look incredibly weak as far as your health instance, so I'm not too terribly worried about you. Alright, let's go ahead and start at least attempting to take you out. If I can take you out in your, my first turn, I'm gonna be, well, not necessarily impressed with myself. I mean, I have to get lucky, obviously. But... At least I don't have to deal with you attacking at all. And I can get to my reward practically immediately. So let's see, how is this gonna do? Okay, you're done regardless. Doesn't matter if I make this next attack land or not. So you know what, I'm going to do this. I could potentially get more um, gold out of this now that I'm thinking about more money. Alright, there we go. Alright, so here we have the Hall of Loot, which is part of the end of every single dungeon, regardless of this event or not. But what's interesting about this is, as you can obviously tell, four different chests. And if you play through the event dungeon, multiple times then the chest you've already opened will stay open and that's simply because if you do not get the evolution cube that you need to evolve your monsters you have a chance to try again and i've only got one evolution cube and i got extremely unlucky i had to open all three of the other chests just to get it so, I don't know if it's like a balance thing, or if I just got unlucky, I'm sure Spring Load can potentially fill me in if I ask them, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's go ahead and open this chest, and ooh, quite a bit of loot, quite a big uh, coinage right there. So that's actually not too bad. And so I've got new monsters I've encountered, and okay, you're a Nala apparently, did not really care okay keep okay. times uh two bonus uh xp or 200 percent times two and 200 percent pretty much the exact same thing pretty much all right so let's go ahead and go back in here so 
I used up one of my stamina, and I can go ahead and go back in there right now. I did find out that if you use up all of your stamina, you can use an advertisement to recharge half of your stamina, which I'm not going to complain about that by any means whatsoever. I think that's actually smart because then otherwise people could get their reward of the evolution cube immediately after watching the reward which I actually had to watch two in order to be able to open my chest. Actually I think I had to watch more than that because I had issues where I had to close it down for reasons and it used up my stamina I couldn't go back. That's besides the point. Hopefully you get the point across but regardless I think this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. Before I do I do want to go ahead and wish Spring Loaded, good luck getting Tiny Dice Dungeon 2 going on. I have mentioned Tiny Dice Dungeon 2 before, but it's not out as you could obviously expect from what I just said. But, I'm looking forward to it, and I do actually am want to be able to beta test it if that's even possible. I will gladly do that, and if I'm allowed to video record it, well, that's obviously up to you. You'd have to approve that, but yeah. Other than that, this is where I'm ending things off. So, Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. One more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studio. Thanks for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later.